Hey guys, it's Sherelle here from Planner with a Praise, a place where creativity meets functionality. If you're new here, then welcome, and I hope by the end of this video, you will decide to join the Praise team. If you've been here before, then welcome back, my friends, and I thank you immensely for your continued support. When you become a part of the Praise team, not only will you get ideas on how to decorate and organize your paper planner, but my channel also offers shopping hauls, craft room tours, and craft room organization. So be sure to click on that free subscription button so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. So we are just a few short days into 2022, and I have to be honest and let you know that I have just now solidified the planners that I will be using in this year. If you've been following me in recent weeks, then you know that I have been talking a lot about Franken planning. One of the reasons why I was having so much discussion about Franken planning is because I had already decided maybe back in November that that was the route that I was going to take into the new year. The other reason why I was talking so much about Franken planning was because for those of you who are new to paper planning or who just aren't completely familiar with the whole Franken planning system, I thought it would be wise to share that information with you and I will make sure that I put the video in the description box below where I explain what Franken planning is. Now that I have said all that, I would like to share with you the planners that I will be using in 2022. Now, last year, I used four planners, one for social media, my personal planner, my budget planner, and my activity planner. And I will tell you that that was way too much for me to manage. And so I have decided to go another route by reducing my number of planners from four to two. So the first plan I wanna to introduce to you is my budget planner. And if you have been following Happy Planner for any amount of time, this cover may look very, very familiar. Beside the fact that having four planners last year was too much for me to manage, I also was reminded that I have so many unused planners and so much plan accessories that I could not justify buying so many planners going into 2022. And so again, this particular cover may look very familiar to you because this is an older cover from the Happy Planner Budget Planner. And I'm going to take you through this budget planner and show you how I use old planner inserts and also perhaps printed some things on my own to develop this planner. So let me start by letting you know that this is a classic size planner and these are blue metal discs that I took from, I believe, my Stargazer planner that I purchased roughly two years ago. So as we go to the inside, this very first divider was a part of an extension pack that I purchased again several years ago. And here I just added a folder. Just to recap, as we are going through this planner, be reminded that everything in here has been Franken planned. So I have my divider, and I believe this divider was actually a part of a teacher edition uh, accessory pack that I purchased years ago. And then I decided to upcycle some of the dividers from a budget planner that I purchased in the past. So this divider says, the secret to getting ahead is getting started. And that is a quote by Mark Twain. And as we turn the page, here on the left, I created a financial goals page by just using my desktop computer. And I think I went into Word to develop this. I really don't remember. Here I have just a note sheet that was, again, from the Happy Planner. Really not sure what accessory pack it came from, uh, but I decided to put that here just in case I needed to jot down some notes. Here on my right, I created a January 2022 calendar, and at the bottom, I have some notes here. And so what I plan on using this calendar for is to just write down, in short, 
the dates that I have bills due and also write down the days that we get paid. So say for example, our mortgage goes out on the 31st of every month. So I'll just put like MTG or something like that. Just little indicators so that when my bills come, I could just make a note or some type of indicator saying, Sherelle, your bills are due on this date. And then he, down here, anything financially important going into the next month, I can make a note of it down here. Now going on to the next page, both of these pages were created by me. Here on the left, I have my bill pay register, and this is going to be helpful when I am filling out the page on the right, which is my budget page. So what I will be able to do is just take a look on the left to see what bills, if any, have to go into my budget, and I will be able to write them down here. This way, I am not missing out anything uh, throughout the month when I am doing my budgeting. Also to notice here on this page, there are several boxes that I left blank and that was on purpose just in case throughout the month or throughout the year, there are additional bills that we accrue and I'm able to write it down here on the bill pay register. Next, turning the page, I did create both of these pages as well. And the one on the left is my savings tracker for 2022. We do have five areas in which we will be saving. That is the emergency fund, the money market. We need to save for our property taxes, our money challenge, and our Christmas and vacation fund. So those are the savings accounts that we have established for 2022. And then here on the right is an expense tracker. And I believe I have four pages, one, well, two pages front and back, put it that way. And this just allows me to write down um, all of my receipts and all of our spending throughout the month. There again is additional pages to allow us to track our expenses. And here, if you notice, this page is completely different from the ones I created. That is because this page is an upcycle from a budget planner from the happy planner and guys one of the things that i am determined to do in 2022 is to really take advantage of all of those inserts that were not used from old planners so one thing that you can expect on this channel is a lot of franken planning so guys that is my budget planner the next planner that i want to show you is my faith planner and much like the budget planner cover this may look familiar to you this is the grace upon grace faith planner that happy planner developed several years ago and because this planner is Franken plan as well, you will be seeing a lot of repurposed material. This also is a classic size happy planner. I believe the dimensions are seven by nine and a quarter. These are plastic discs. They have a metallic gold color, but they definitely are plastic. And going into this planner, I have my cover page here that says, glory to God, this happy planner, faith edition belongs to, and there's my name. And then as we turn the page, you can see that this page here on my left is an upcycled page. And also to take note that the tabs here have April, March, and August on them. These dividers that I'll be using for 2022, I will not be using them in chronological order for dating purposes. My faith planner is specifically going to be used for me to jot down any studying, keeping track of my Bible reading and things of that nature. And so eventually I will be going ahead and taking the month tabs off. They're very easy to take off. See, there you go. I already pulled off April. 
And so as we turn this page again, these pages are upcycled. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take my permanent adhesive Tombow tape runner and I'm just going to go ahead and put these pages together because I don't need anything on either side of these pages. So let me go ahead and just do that real quick and then we'll move on. There we go. So those pages are now attached to one another. And now I'm going to flip the page so you can see what I will be using in the faith section of this planner. So I wanted to use what was here on this page as part of my faith planner for 2022. And that was why I needed to upcycle the entire page. And so how I will be using this uh, page is this. Here where it says top three, wrote down pray, read, and track. And so what I want to do is where I have my monthly habit tracker, I will be putting the months here. So January, February, March, and April will go here. And as I am achieving these top three goals for each month, I will be putting a line through the date. So as you could see already, I did start January and I did my prayer and I did read on the 1st of January. I also did it for the second, third, and fourth. And so now I could say that I did my prayer, I read my scripture, and I tracked. So I have my Dynamo that I'll be using, and I'm going to do this um, as quick as possible. I want to go ahead and make these headers monthly headers. So here I have January. I'm going to use a large font and I hope that it's not too big. Let's see. Nope, I think it was actually perfect. So I'm going to put that here. And then I'm gonna do the other three months as well. So I'm going to stop right here because March and April, the words are short and I'm going to have to white out what's in the back and I don't have my white out close by. So I'm going to continue with this later on, put this to the side and then we could just go ahead and I could continue showing you how I plan to use the faith section of this planner. So we already established that in the sidebar, I will be keeping track of my daily prayers, my scripture reading as well. And then down here where it says notes, I plan on using it specifically for that purpose. And this header, I will be updating so that I can list any special prayer requests that may come in or that may just be near and dear to my heart. And then where it says a monthly goals, here I will be jotting down any specific readings that I have that are separated from my daily scripture reading. So I do have devotional books that I also read throughout the month. And so that's what this section will be um, applicable to. Here I just put a little inspirational quote. Here I have some upcycle sticky notes. And then guys, for 2022, I decided that I wanted to go into the book of Proverbs for the beginning of the year. And so I created this reading plan. And if you want to see a copy of it, I will make sure to post it on my Instagram post. So you could go over there and see a snapshot of it if you'd like to follow me. And I am on a day four. So much like the other two pages that I had to put together, I'll be doing the same thing with these two pages. 
Here is my Tombow Permanent Adhesive Tape Runner. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this page to the back of the one on the right. There you go. And now you will see that I have another page here where I can just write notes. So my faith planner, it's not really purpose to keep track of any specific dates. It's just a section that allows me to write down anything faith related, whether it's something I am studying, a devotional that I am reading where something captures my mind and I wanna write it down. So you will see that my faith planner is just note sheets and if i need to apply a date i can do that also pay attention that this is a very very small section there's literally three or four pages in this one section and if i need it to grow i can always add additional pages as necessary so the next part of this planner guys is my social media planner and in this planner, I will be housing everything that is important regarding my YouTube channel and my Instagram. So let's go ahead and dive right in. This cover is from the Happy Planner and they teamed up with Spoonful of Faith, I believe back in 2020, and they were selling these covers on the Happy Planner website. And so I made the purchase. And here is my cover page for the social media section of my planner. And here it says 2021. I want to get rid of that. So I do have a sticker. Hold on. I'm going to get rid of that right now. Okay. And here is a sticker from Capital Chic Designs and it says living that planner life. And I'm going to use this sticker to cover up that 2021 in the backing because we are now in a new year. So my cover page is now updated. This is my one and only precious wild life. And here is a 2021 year at a glance i will not be using that and i don't want to adhere it to the divider because i love this divider your vibe attracts your tribe and you can see that the tabs are monthly tabs and i am going to continue in that realm for this section of the planner so as we go into this section of the planner here on the left i did create another monthly calendar with a note section and much like with the budget planner that I showed you earlier, this calendar is for me to be able to jot down my days that I post on YouTube, which is typically Tuesday and Thursday. And I may also write down the days that I need to film. That I haven't really decided yet, but I definitely want to keep a posting schedule. And so that's why I created this planner. Now these pages are line note pages and what I plan to do with these pages is write down the name and title of the videos as I am posting them to be able to keep track of what I am posting. So this is my social media planner and again it's just got some note pages to help me keep track of the things that I am filming and posting on YouTube. February and March are the exact same. They just have different dividers. So uh, here you go. This is the March divider. And also too, I forgot to tell you, but you may have already noticed that my planner uh, is set to have three months at a time with the exception of the faith planner, which again is undated and I will upgrade that section as necessary. As we delve deeper into my social media section of the planner, we are gonna go to this section where it says video ideas. Now guys, this section is even smaller. I have three half sheets 
And this is just an area where I can brain dump any ideas for filming that come about while I'm working in my planner. Sometimes I will be in a whole different section of my planner and something will crop up. I may even be working in my social media planner and I will just have like a light bulb come on and say, you know what? This would be a great video idea. And so I will be able to write down in very simple form what that idea is. And so I have this section here. The last part of my social media section is my business education area. Guys, I am still learning. I am doing a lot of learning when it comes to YouTube and you know social media and small business. And so I do have a section set up in my social media area where I could take notes on the things that I am learning. So when I created this part of the planner, I brought with me the things that I learned in 2020. And then I just added some additional pages as well uh, so that I can have areas to grow my educational section. Guys, last up, but certainly not least, is the section of the planner that keeps this engine running. And that is the personal planner, the planner that organizes my entire life. Now, a flip through of this particular planner, I will make sure to put it at the end of this video, so don't go anywhere. This way you could watch the video to the end and then just go ahead and click on this flip through. This is a new planner that I purchased from Hobby Lobby just a few short weeks ago. I want to say maybe a month ago even. But anyway, this is the most current planner of the Franken plans in this one planner. It is the Let Go and Grow planner. And here you can see that the cover page is fresh and new. And it is in fact a 2122 planner. So this particular section of the planner is most recent. And so let's go see what's inside. So because this was a 2122 planner, here is the year at a glance from 2021. I will not need that at all this year. I was able to transfer my table of contents or my how-to page from last year and this is just a glimpse on how to use the section of the planner and the things that I want to house in this part of the planner. I also have a pocket divider in this part of the planner and here is my year at a glance for 2022. As we turn the page, you'll see that here is another year at a glance that's broken down into monthly columns. And because it, this is July through December, guess what? I don't need that. And so I'm going to adhere these two pages together. There we go. And then I will start fresh with the January 2022 right through December. So how I plan on using these pages is I'll be writing down important birthdays, anniversaries, and those quarterly bills that come up, like for example, our homeowner's insurance, we pay quarterly. Um, our annual registration for the cars and my husband's motorcycle. Those things will also be written down here. Um, possibly our property taxes, but that's what I will be using these columns for, these monthly columns, to write down those important dates that come up throughout the year. Okay, and so now we have right here our currently page for July. Guys, July 2021 is gone. I don't need that. So here we go again with my handy dandy permanent adhesive tape runner. And we are going to adhere this page to this one here because we don't need it. 
And then here we go, January, 2022. Here is the currently page that I will be using in 2022. Right to the other side of this currently page, I added some notes pages right here. And the reason why I did that is because I am not adding an isolated note section to this planner. And it's likely that this one currently page will not be enough for me to write down the notes throughout the month of January. And so I added some additional pages to help me get through a month of note taking in each month. So these pages, my friends, I'm not really sure if they came from a specific planner or an accessory pack. I really don't know where I got these because they're that old. Um, and then here we are with the top of January 2022. Here is the divider where flowers bloom, so does hope. A quote by Lady Bird Johnson. And here is the month at a glance. Here is the week at a glance. And then we have the very last page. Let's see if it's any different. Uh, no, nothing different, nothing different at all. And then we go right in to February. So guys, the four planners that I was using in 2021 are now compiled into two planners. Here is my personal planner. Here, my friends, is my faith planner. And then lastly is my social planner planner. So these three planners are now turned into one. The only planner that is separated is my budget planner. And that is on purpose because my budget planner stays at my desk in my craft room slash office. And it is always at the ready on Fridays when I sit down and do the budgeting for the family. So guys, I hope you did enjoy spending time with me as I showcase the planners that I'll be using in 2022. If you would like to see how I set up my budget for January 2022, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel because that is the video that I will be posting on this Thursday, January 6th. So make sure that you are subscribed and that your notification bell for this channel is turned on. Guys, if there was anything on this video that you saw that was helpful, useful, or creative, I ask that you please consider joining the praise team. This is Sherelle from Planner with a Praise saying peace and blessings.